Hello everyone, Lord of Flames here, and the Curves of Spring Trap, the movie by Dark Films and Emerald Productions, just released. And I just watched it, and I love it. It's a good masterpiece, 10 out of 10. And that was my second time being in their Minecraft movie, since Fights Phrase 2, and now to this, for me being at Spring Trap. Ever since I did being at Spring Trap since 20, 2016 through 2017, and and last being as one in 20, 2018, and now years later I'm back. Cause during behind the scenes on Discord, uh, one of them asked me to uh, play at Spring Trap because they um, tried to try to uh, contact the original actor who plays William. From the from their R movie, so that's why they had to have me instead. So that's why I had to play at Spring Trap. So I'm back once again. Let's get on with the plot first. So it takes place one month later after the event of the first movie. After Mike managed to get out there after William's death, becoming Spring Trap, um, the place is already already abandoned and. Um, some random teenagers who do stupid things being as dumb characters like in horror movie who just get themselves killed by uh, breaking into some abandoned places and they found the same room where William's body or spring trap is. And they were killed, like always. And spring trap got out of there because they left the door open unlocked. So spring, spring trap's only one mission. Find Mike and kill him. Even if he had to find his family too to kill him. So back with Mike, he has a family where he uh, met them because Stacy, his wife, already had a son. Ever since what happened uh, to her own story, which we don't know about her own husband. But anyways, so since it's been like a while or so, they um, managed to have going to have another kid, which is uh, interesting news for Mike. But he's still getting haunted by all the past he had been that month. That one month ago, ever since it still haunts him. So, that's why he's still almost getting himself killed when he was driving. Or even after he dropped off his own uh, stepson or whatnot. <laughs> Springtrap is, is walking around the streets. And it reminds me of the last night movie. My own movie, where Springtrap is roaming around the streets. Because, in Final Fantasy VI, Scott's version, I never got used to that idea, because I truly like to see the idea of having Springtrap and the rest of the few end up trying to survive to uh, roam around the streets, or the city, or around the town or something, around the neighborhoods. Like, that sort of thing. Like how it was last time if Michael was in fact Springtrap, who was hunting down William. That sort of thing. Spring Jeff just found a kid who's getting hurt or bullied by this man who's probably his own father or something. And William scares him off. Where for some reason I thought that because Spring Jeff reminds that kid as his own kid in Fights Phrase 4 who died from the bite of 83. Or BITE OF 87?! But anyways. Um, after that, we don't know what happened to the kid, and he went to a random, uh, building, which, this reminds me of t the Terminator movie, the first one, where, uh, the Terminator went to the phone booth, takes this random book, notebook, where, uh, so many names on the list showing where they are. So, he found the one that is Mike, and he knows where Mike lives. But he gets distracted by that same guy who, uh, who's holding... A gun or a rifle or something is shooting at him, damaging him, and I was so confusing. Why you had to uh, give him the skin of Final Fantasy VI Spring Trap or Scrap Trap? But I don't know why if that would affect the Final Fantasy Free movie for his own style look. If theories about the years later Fastbear's freight workers who found him damaged and they repair him a bit, so I guess that's why. Who knows? So Springtrap kills him, 
And some hours later, he founds Mike's home when he discovers or hears about Stacy is pregnant. You know, tells Frank Child gives that one line. That child will not be born. That could scare viewers when he said, That child will not be born. Yeah, it's give that a little bit of vibe feeling. Like, it's like he, the way I give that type of voice part of it. I want to give a much more of an anger tone, but or rather he doesn't have any, or personalities or anything. He just like just, he just blank or whatnot inside. Where he still has rages inside over Mike. That he wants to kill the rest of his family. So, he breaks in the house, almost about to kill them, but Mike stops him. And springs up, managed to get the activator somehow, that he'll come back. He promised Mike that he will always come back. A day later, Mike was in the hospital. He's dying. And I was shocked for hearing about that. Or seeing about that. Because, of course, it had to do about his, his own time back working at Sizzle Kitchen that somehow still affects his own body when he was scooped. And somehow it's killing him slowly. Like how I mentioned Silver Eye style, but anyways. So, Mike died. Ever since he already finally know that his baby is a daughter or a girl, I mean. And that's when this affects me. Where two years ago, after Final Phase One came out, I made a fan-made cover of, of the what will the third movie would look like, and I made three characters below on the round, on this cover with Springtrap on the right, and on the middle. This female character is the main character, which I think of her as a uh, the daughter of Mike, where Mike is mostly a purple killer when not ever since he his own skin is finally consumed or covered when not, and having another character on the other side, which I don't know what I use him for, but anyways, you dark films and Marone productions. Make things similar to that cover I made years ago. I'm surprised if that's true or not. But anyways. So the credits ended with a bad ending theme in Final Phase 3. Which that feels like it is a bad ending because the hero who stops William is now dead. And William's always promised that he will come back. Which he will. So William or Springtrap survives. Mike didn't. So that includes a bad ending for Mike's story. Until we get another, until we get a good ending soon for Final Phase 3. Because that's the only last movie they will plan on making. The movie was good, but the soundtracks were somehow a little bit, used a bit the no copyright music stuff. Which I still some, still uh, recognize one of some of those mu musics. Not from Final Phase 3. I recognize some of them, from Kevin McLoy or Mayo Ju or other people's work, other people's musics. So yeah, but I'm fine with it because you try to find something interesting the way how the vibes feeling for the scenes, that sort of thing, I guess. But anyways, the movie was good, 10 out of 10. I can't wait for the next movie. That's it for my review, and if the script for Friends Phrase Free is now done. You can uh, contact me on Discord if um, if you're ready to have me back at Springtap or you're still looking forward to get the original actor back or something, who knows. Just let me know, okay? This is it for the review, folks, and I hope you enjoy it. Support Dark Films channel and the rest of them who made this movie. Support them as well. This is Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.